vacation. Lucy was feeling miserable. The summer holidays had just begun and all she could think about were, as, were the long, boring weeks ahead. Then, to Lucy's excitement, her best friend Mia phoned and invited her to come over to her house for a sleepover. Later that day, then Lucy arrived at Mia's house. She felt nervous and staying about staying with such a big family, but then soon put her bit her at ease. The next morning, Mia and Lucy were up early because Mia's dad was talking them was talking. Mia's dad was talking, taking them on a mystery trip. Hurry up, you two, called Mia's dad. The mystery trip begins in five minutes. Anyone who's not ready by then gets left behind. Dad says that all the time, said Mia with a giggle. He always Threaten, threatens to leave us behind but we know he's really he doesn't really mean it just like you, us and you dad <laughs> some flower cottage dad please Tell us where we're going. It's like us in the car. <laughs> Pleased, Mia. After they had been driving for a while, not for now, replied her dad, turning off the highway, keep a look out for a little cottage surrounded by lots of huge sunflowers. Mia and Lucy looked at each other other in surprise they were they they were more puzzled now finally they saw a cottage it seemed to stand out like a bright glow of sunshine among the green of the the green of the flat fields Mia's father drove carefully up the driveway to the gate at the sound of the car, a young woman came out to greet the men. Several cats were brushing against her legs, and she paused for a moment to pick one up. Are you done? I'm so glad to meet you, smiled the meeting, the woman, as Mia and Lucy walked up to the path to water. Please call me Emily. Now, which one of you is Lucy? I am, said Lucy. Shyly, sh shyly. How does this woman know my name? She wondered. They followed Emily inside the cottage and to, and to her delight, they saw three kittens lying in a large cardboard box. Lucy, said Emily, you can choose any one of these kittens, Lucy grabbed Julie. Looking, at the, looking first at Emily, then Mia's dad, yes, he nodded. It has already been arranged with your pets, parents. Tears of joy welled up in Lucy's eyes as she reached down to pick up a black and white kitten. I will always have you for company, won't I? She whispered, holding the kitten closely. Mia smiled gently. She was so happy for a new for a best friend. Bam, bam, bam.